Another episode of Wig Rigs and we've got this custom Silverado 2500 training canopy. Another episode of Wig Rigs and today we've got the Silverado 2500. This thing's got custom tray, uh, custom canopy as well to suit an electric scooter. This is to suit a tray on camper which is going on the back. Uh, so we've got all new mounting points to suit the camper. And then a permanently mounted headboard canopy which has got his, um, his electric scooter in it. So this here is a 2500 long by 2080 wide tray. Uh, so it's a custom tray size to suit that camper. So a standard tray size for Silverados is 2400. So it's our XT standard tray. Now it's a standard tray because he didn't want a water tank. He didn't want a rear drawer. He wanted to keep it nice and simple, nice and light. Everything that he needs is gonna be in his camper that bolts onto this. The only custom request was the canopy, which has got the scooter in it. Starting around the side, we've got big boxes on these Silverados, all sealed as always plenty of space for whatever you need you can also option in putting some shelving there as well just due to the size of them one up the front as well uh, around the back here we've got the led auto lamp tail lights and we've also got the supernova flush mount reverse lights so we've integrated the sensors into the back of the tray like we always do we've also integrated the spare wheel um, the lock for the spare wheel to wind it down uh, and then also relocated the bsm radar for the sensors so that's on the bracket there, which bolts onto the tray. Now on the back, there's these big nut certs. Uh, that's not a standard option on these trays. That is for the mounting plates for his camper where it ties down on. So you've got the mounts here, you've got the mounts on the top here as well for a big bracket, which then bolts the camper onto the tray. Now moving around this side, there's a little bit more happening on this side, but not too much. You've again got another big box at the back here. You've got your mounting point for your bracket for the camper that goes on. The front box is where we've relocated the uh, fuel filler and the blue filler. On this side of the canopy, we've mounted an EcoX gear speaker into the door. The canopy also uses all of the same um, bracing and strength that is required in our normal size canopy. So regardless of the size of the canopy, it's still gonna have enough bracing on it to make sure it can withstand anything you throw at it. On this side of the canopy is where you can access the electric scooter, which is housed into this canopy. So it's on a custom made slide um, that pulls out and drops down. Now the scooter is more of his, uh, his run around, so when he's at camp, at a caravan park or wherever he's going to be around the country with his camper on the back, the scooter's um, going to be his way to get into town to grab some shopping, grab this, grab that, whatever. It's on a rolling platform that then just drops out of the canopy and then that is locked inside as well. Not a lot going on with the Silverado, so a real quick video of, uh, of what we've done. Custom tray to suit his camper that's going on the back of this thing. We've actually got another one coming up as well for a Hilux we're custom making to suit a camper as well. Designing all the areas for the brackets to attach uh, to bolt straight on as well as, you know, custom canopy for your scooter to go straight in. Custom items like these is what we can do. So if you've got a custom request such as a camper going in the back of a ute like this, hit us up at info at wiggleengineering.com.au. See more of this build or see our other builds, subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on Instagram, follow us on our Facebook.